Hey everyone, this is a beginner's how-to guide on MiceWine. MiceWine is an alternative emulator to win later for playing your Windows games on Android. An overview of this video is listed on the screen. I will show you where to download and how to install MiceWine using the rootfs file, how to set up your external SD card to access games, Review the built-in package manager and how to install your own drivers, Box64, and DXT in MiceWine. How to create a shortcuts for your games. How to add environmental and launch arguments. How to lay out virtual controllers or test your physical controller inside MiceWine. First, go to the link at the bottom of the screen and it will take you to MiceWine's GitHub page. Download the MiceWine APK. You can either download the stable release or download the nightly build under the Actions tab. You may need to log into GitHub to download the nightly build. Next, download the rootfs file. Select the arch64.rat download. Now install the APK and allow file access. Next, select the .rat file you downloaded earlier from the MiceWine GitHub. This might take a while to install. The UI is simple. There is a shortcuts tab, a settings tab, a drives tab, and an information tab at the bottom. On the shortcuts tab, tap the icon to launch the desktop. Make sure to update the prefix when you first open the desktop. To exit, click Exit in the Start menu. Sometimes you will have to hard exit by sliding over the left menu and clicking Exit there instead. Your external drive should show up automatically. You can turn off the memory counter in the debug settings under General. If it does not, try launching the desktop again. If it still is not there, quit the Mice Wine application and open it again. MiceWine has a built-in package manager. You can see what is already pre-installed.
Tap on Rat Package Downloader, and you can tap the download button and download other files to help you run your games. Also, you can install custom versions if you have them through the Drives tab, but this feature is for more advanced users. To create a shortcut, go to your game folder in the Drives tab. Tap and hold the game's .exe file. When the menu shows, select Create Shortcut on Home. To edit the shortcut, tap and hold the shortcut. When the menu shows, select Edit Shortcut. Here you can select your box 64, DXVK version, driver version, and turn on virtual or physical controllers. Under the Settings tab, you can add your environmental variables for all your games. I would recommend adding this Wine DLL override to help with controller issues in some games. Inside the game shortcut, you can add launch arguments customized for each game. Lastly, you can test your physical controls to make sure MiceWine recognizes your controller. You can also create your own custom virtual controller, like in WinLater, by adding buttons, D-pads, and joysticks. You then connect those virtual buttons to keyboard buttons to build your customized controls. That is it. You now know the basics of how to use MiceWine. Let me know in the comments below if you would like more advanced guides on installing custom files, 
or creating performance presets inside MiceWine. I hope you enjoyed this video.